pour the milk to the extracted coffee and some sugar and have your cup of coffee. Mmm, very yum. So good. It's a Nespresso machine. I bought this in Australia, Brisbane from the Nespresso outlet. So today I'm going to unbox it and have a cup of coffee from my new Nespresso machine. So come along with me. So this is uh, the pods. These are the coffee pods, the Nespresso, all these flavors. See. These are the other way around. All the flavors, Colombian, caramel, little, whatever nonsense, and all these flavors. So this is a machine, as you can see. It's a Nespresso, Essenza Mini, and it's a Breville brand thingy. So I'm going to remove this off the cover. how it is. Oh, I have another one. I have another Nespresso coffee pods. This is a beautiful bag as well. It's a nice, nice. So I'm going to keep this. Yeah. So this is the machine. This is the Nespresso, Nespresso machine. So I'm going to unbox this. So, Open. This is the machine instruction manual. It's two year warranty. Card and all those stuff. First, take the machine out. is bits and pieces. And there's more milk in the is the machine. Fix this and this goes here. Okay. Then this is the one for the water. This is the one. You add water and then you place it there. Look, and then this is where the pod goes in, and then close it, and this is where you place your coffee, uh, the cup to, for the coffee to extract, and then you make your own cup of coffee. This is, I think this is for the milk uh, frother or whatever you call that. Yeah, yeah, it's for the milk frother. It looks like this. And has has the manual as well open that open this is and 
Det är lilla. Det är lite lilla. Put the milk in. This is the frotta. I think this is. You put the milk in, and then it's a magnet, and then it goes in. When you place this, as you can see, that goes here. And then the milk, the lid. You pour the milk, and then this is the button, and then the milk frothers, and then you mix the coffee and the milk together to make your perfect cup of coffee. So let's fix this to the electricity outlet and let's see how it goes. So let me first clean all this and I'll get that onto the power outlet. Taking this to the power socket which is here and this is obviously the RC thing so this is a international socket multi plug and you switch it on now as you can see the coffee comes out through that gap so either you can use a big one big cup or a smaller cup for a smaller cup then you need to put the stand on and then place the cup so that it extracts here. If not, you could just directly keep the big cup. And you can see here, after you put the pod into this, you can get a full cup extract, uh, sorry, a full cup extract or a half a cup extract. So that is the two options and this is where the water goes. So let me first fill water and get back to making coffee. System. Now add some water to it. You close this and then you place it at the back. See? Place that at the back. Mm. And it's placed. Okay. Now I'm going to place the big cup and I'm going to choose the coffee pod. These are the different type of coffee pods that I bought along with this coffee machine as you can see these are the different flavors and get this one and this is another selection of all the different varieties of coffee and cappuccino long black flat white an iced coffee you can make any of these type of coffees using all these pods um, you can see these are the different varieties of coffee so I'm going to today try the yellow one I don't know which one this is um, ah, it is this one Voluto or whatever the voluto thingy as you can see okay so let's try that so first you flip this and put the machine put the pod inside and close it right and I want a full cup therefore I'm going to switch this Bye. Woo! Can you see? It's extracting. Zayad wanted a full cup. Okay. Yeah. 
So that's done. So you wait till it's sort of down. Now that is done. And just to catch the any drip. So you can see this is a full car a full good strong cup of coffee. Now I'm gonna add some milk to this. So I'm gonna use my milk frother for that. So that is stage two. Alright, step two. So let's get the milk frothing. So once the coffee is extracted from the pod, you just have to lift this latch and the aluminium coffee pod will fall to the bottom part and go down here. And then you remove that and then the empty pod is here, as you can see. And you can throw this away. So this is where the empty pod is usually collected and then put that back in. Now this is for the milk frother. And now add some milk. Place the lid back on and then inside that and switch it on. You can see. See the milk is getting heated and it'll froth up. There's a magnetic uh, stirrer, so don't pour milk more than the top. Don't pour till the whole thing fills up. Pour till the stirrer is sort of immersed with milk. Don't pour too much of milk because this has, when it's turning, it could uh, sort of spill all over. That's the limit up to the top of the stirrer. You can see now it's all getting all creamy and frothy and warm and hot so after that we put that pour the milk to the extracted coffee and some sugar and have your cup of coffee so now that milk is done Pour the milk. Do it like the barista style. Then add some sugar. Smells very good. Mm. Very yum. So good. So this is a really good machine. It's been after one year. I bought this last year, 2019 August in Brisbane and and unboxing it in 2020 August. So after one year, I'm unboxing it and actually enjoying the coffee. Very good. Um, it's, it's a bit expensive, about $500, but it's a worth lifetime investment. Um, I don't know if you can get the pods in Sri Lanka, but I can always buy it online um, from Australia. That's lots of issues. It's a really good machine. So if you guys want it, do go out and buy one. Um, 
So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to share this video with your friends and also if you're new to this channel, please do, don't forget to subscribe. So until I guys see you guys next time, this is your week signing off. Bye!